So this is our hydrometer and they work based on essentially buoyancy. So the more dense your liquid is, the less far this hydrometer is gonna fall. And ethanol is actually less dense than water. So the more ethanol that's in it, the less dense the solution is gonna be and the higher it'll rise. In the, in the water itself. What we really need to know is wherever it lands, we'll get a reading, we'll grab the temperature, and then we'll proof it out. If you just wanna pour that in there, I'd probably fill it to about here, because we need to leave a little room for you think a this will fill the way to hydrometer. That? I hope so, we're gonna have to siphon some more. Cool, and then I'd kinda just dip down and back up, just get it to coat the whole thing, and then you can give it a little spin and let it go. And then we'll wait till it settles out. One thirty-five, three six, three seven, one thirty-eight. All right, one thirty-eight on yeah. the dot. Uh, yep. Yeah. Alrighty. And this is just an initial proofing. One seventy-eight at one thirty-eight. And we'll meet. One thirty-one point four. One thirty-one point four. So that gives us 65.7% alcohol. What we'll do tomorrow is we'll pull all the liquid out of the barrel. Yeah. We'll transfer it to this tank that we had set up and then we'll start adding water until, and you can kind of calculate how much water you need roughly, um, but we'll get us to 90 proof for this. So we'll dilute it down quite a bit, but again, we have really clean water, so it'll taste really good. Fantastic. And then it'll be ready for bottling. That's what so, we'll do tomorrow? Yeah. Sounds good.